Hi frogs and parents, today we're going to talk about the frog life cycle. Um, unfortunately, our bullfrog tadpoles, which I didn't realize at the time, they were bullfrogs and that bullfrogs take two years to go from the tadpole, tadpole phase into the frog phase. So we didn't get a chance to see our bullfrogs um, tadpoles turn into frogs. But I do have a couple things to show you so we can talk about our, our frog life cycle before we do our frog life cycle craft. Um, and this is Bruce. Bruce has been very interested in our bullfrogs um, tadpoles. He comes and checks them out several times a day, as well as maybe some of the plants. But anyways, all right, let's go check out our bullfrog, our tadpole life cycle. So, frogs and parents, I've got a video here. I'm going to put it on full screen so that you guys can hopefully see it. And it's a time lapse video that's going to show us how you go from a tadpole to a frog in just a matter of seconds. But in reality, it takes about three weeks. All right, so here we go. So it's, there's our little tadpole and he's growing in size. Now next you're going to see his back legs pop out. There's his back legs. His front legs are starting to develop. Now the last part is his tail shrinking into the frog's, into a, his frog body. So let's go ahead and watch that one more time. So he starts out and he's growing. Now watch for the back legs to come out first, then the front legs. And then he's going to grow into, lose his tail and grow into a frog. So that is the frog life cycle. And unfortunately, we didn't get to quite see that. But right here, I have it on a piece of paper to show you guys. So frogs start out, they are an egg, in an egg form. And from the egg form, they develop their tadpole bodies, which is kind of fish looking. Um, hold on, I've got something playing here in the background. I'm not quite sure what it is. Let me turn that off and come back over here. So it is kind of they're, they're fish looking. They have gills just like fish. They haven't started to develop their lungs yet. So as you saw from our video, the first thing the tadpole grows is the back legs. And he still has his fish looking body, but now he has back legs. Then he still is going to have his fish looking tail, but his front legs are going to start to grow. Then he goes into the t frog let phase, which is where the tail starts to shrink. And eventually he becomes an adult frog. So first your legs, your, your, they start out as eggs in the water. Then they're tadpoles with gills like a fish and they can breathe underwater just like a fish. Then once they start to develop their front legs and their back legs, their lungs start growing, just like we have lungs. Frogs can't stay underwater forever like a fish. They eventually have to come up and breathe the air just like you and I do. And their tail starts to shrink, and then eventually they are an adult frog. Adult frogs are amphibious, so they live in the water, but they have, to, they have lungs and they breathe the air just like you and I do. All right, so now we're going to talk about our frog craft. This is the craft that we're going to end up making. It's about the frog life cycle, and it shows the four major phase, phases that a frog goes through. Frog eggs, tadpole, froglet, and frog. So I will be emailing you copies of all this. You'll get the big frog, you'll get the frog flap, the stomach flap, and then the phases of the frog. Um, I've already started cutting everything out and coloring it, and I'm just going to finish cutting out my frog, my here. And this is um, probably your frogs, if they've been keeping up with their scissors skills, are gonna have no problem doing this, parents. Um, my frogs every year by May are able to cut this frog out. 
You can color with crayons. You can color with markers, daughters, paints. You know, however they want to color their frog. Any tool that they use to color their frog is going to be great for them. So there's their frog. I've already cut out the top piece. And this is something that we just use tape. So then you, oops, that's a lot of tape. Didn't quite need that much tape. And then you just tape this top part on. Now for this part, um, you notice that I colored the tadpole brown. The eggs are black, um, and tadpoles do usually start out black or brown, and the eggs, like inside the egg sac, you can see either a black spot or a brown spot. And they'll either be in their tadpole um, phase, They'll either be black or brown. The reason they're black or brown is so that they can match the bottom of their ponds, their riverbeds. It makes it harder for predators to see them and try to catch them and eat them. And then as they mature, they start developing their frog colors, whether their colors are going to be, and this is the cool thing about frogs, is it is amazing. Let's Google it right now. How many colors frogs come in? Okay, frogs come in pretty much any color that you can imagine. We're all very used to seeing them as green, but frogs also, especially the poison dart frogs, and I'm looking for an image of the poison dart frogs. Um, poison dart frogs are like really colorful. They come in reds and blues and oranges. It's poison dart frog. Look at all of those colors that frogs come in. But when they are there in their egg and tadpole pulled phase, they are not this color. If they were this, these colors, they would be easy to spot and eat by predators. It's only when they become adults that you see all of these really cool and different flowers. I mean, sorry, colors. If you ever have a chance to go to the museum in DC, I really strongly recommend you go by the Amazon exhibit because they have an amazing display of these very frogs of the Amazon of the poison dart frogs because most of the poison dart frogs are found in the Amazon. So they have a really cool frog display there of all the different sizes and colors that frogs can come in. Okay, so but back to our frog life cycle. So you're going to cut out your pieces and you're going to end up with this part. Now parents you can do this one of two ways. You can have your frogs cut out each individual tile or rectangle and tape each one down. Um, tape each one down. I'll cut them all out and demonstrate it really quickly. Cut on the black lines. Here we go. So you can cut these out as such, okay? And then you can take down each one individually like that so you end up stacking them and they make like a little like flip book like this. And then they make a little flip book so that you can flip through it or you can fold them and I'll show you how to fold it so that they open up in an accordion style, okay? And to fold it, you just basically do an alternating fold onto each tile like that. And then you come over and just tape once, you just tape the egg down, just the egg tile down once, kind of like such. There you go. And then you fold it all in, and then you have your frog life cycle. And accordion style. Okay, so frogs and parents, that was our frog life cycle. I hope you guys um, enjoy the craft and you learned a little bit, something new about frogs that you didn't know before. Bye.